All right, day one with the younger group and also the older groups if you want to use it to help them get warmed up. We're going to work on a thing called zero, one, two, three. This will be easy for you to teach in the sense that all you have to do is count out numbers, zero, one, two, three. But let me show you what they mean. The zero position, you're going to have them have their feet straight out in front of them. They're going to have a glove in front of them like they're reading a book. Okay? They're going to grab the ball with their fangs, with two fingers as you heard earlier called our fangs. This is the zero position. Okay? The next thing you'll call out is one. one. When we do one, they're going to take their throw inside, that foot. You heard about the block step earlier. They're going to make the letter T with their feet. Real simple. You'll see the letter T. That'll be one. Now, two. They'll go to the two position. Now, what you saw them do is they take a step with the foot, come nice and blocked. What you're going to really see on this is we want our hands, our knuckles. We want our knuckles to go away from us, back up into a nice 90 degree angle with the fangs back. Okay? You'll see a lot of these kids with their hands will be twisted to do all kinds of things. When you walk by on two, make sure their fangs are back. Don't, be, don't hesitate to walk through and to make sure that they're in the right position. To put your hands on them and tell them what they need to do. This is two. Now on three, we're going to tell them we want a fast elbow, quick elbow on three, and then they're going to come and land, and they're going to be in the flamingo position. Quick hand. Ready? Three. And they'll hang in the flamingo position just like that. Hand, hand on this side. All right. Now, thank you guys. Hold on. Now you can do a lot of different games with this. One of the games you can play is just in that. Tell them one, two, three, and see who can hang in the flamingo position the longest. Ready? Zero. One, two, three. And you can see this will tell us who's throwing right. Okay, who's got the better balance in this situation. The next game you can play with them is this. The love your kids will love this. It's kind of Simon says. Ready? Zero. One. Two, two, see if they follow you, see if they do what they're supposed to do. Two, one, zero, zero, one, two, and if they're slow like Bo was, you can sit them down and you can just have a fun time with this drill. With the little kids, since they're not pitching, we'll be using this drill all the time. So what we'll do on the next day of fielding, we'll put a, a, a bat in front of them and we'll tell them to field the ball. Ready, y'all field with me, field it. And then we'll tell them, once they field it, put it in their stomach, we'll yell, one, two, three. On day three with the little ones throwing, we'll throw a pot fly to them in the air. They'll catch a pot fly, and then we'll go, one, two, three. And then on day four with the little ones throwing, you just have a lot of fun with zero, one, two, three, playing different games, all the different games, and let them have a great day. That'll be throwing zero, one, two, three, you'll be using with the younger ones.